Hello folks, just a little video on note taking software we're going to be using um, in both VM and in Windows. For our case we're going to be using Cat Cherry Tree software and also a snipping tool called GreenShot. It's going to enable us to take uh, some notes that we can create great reports from and we can actually keep notes even for a course or anything that you want to work on that keeps you organized as well as um, more efficient. So let's jump right into it. What we're going to learn first is Cherry Tree. So Cherry Tree is uh, at this website right here. It is an open source note taking software. Their online documentation is right here which is pretty good if you want to go back and read some particulars about your particular operating system Ubuntu, Fedora, Windows, Mac, etc, etc um, how to run it, how to install it, how to configure it um, but for our downloads we'll go down to the downloads area and this is the download that you'll be using it's a 64-bit setup EXE we're doing 99.45 for version number um, once you download it, um, then you just run Cherry Tree, and it should bring up the latest one you have ran. Um, and this is one that I was doing as an example. I created uh, two different main areas. Let me do another main area for you. Um, do Add, and we'll do Assessment. Part three, and it does a node. They call it a node, um, and you do a sub node here, and let's just say um, gathering info on servers, and then inside here you can say. Um, these are the servers um, from the subnets that we are I'm going to going going fat fingered I'm going to use for our security assessment You'll get faster at typing as you go through. I'm pretty slow. I fat finger a lot of things. You can always go back. Um, like subents. It should be subnets, not subents. Um, you can do all sorts of notes in here. You can keep going and going and going and going as you need to. Uh, break it up into sections. You need another. add another one. Um, these are network devices. Let's just call it network devices in scope uh, let's add another one or let's say we can do underneath here add sub node um, different locations maybe they're geographically spread out <clears throat> and then you can have different um, networks on each one of those or different devices on those and let's just say Boston and let's say oh we want to copy that and do a duplicate so we duplicate 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 so Boston uh, right click properties let's do uh, Atlanta let's do I don't know, San Diego, and Chicago. It's just examples. But you get the, the idea of it. You can actually organize things in a much easier fashion when you want to put your notes in and add different details for them like subnets up here, we're information gathering, we're going to do scans. 
I've even done some from uh, a course or an example for the course. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to do that quick. This is what I wanted. Example one. But you can do it. Class notes, tools. As you'd use a tool or as we're covering things, you can keep your notes in here. And then when you're done with them, um, when you're done with an area, or well, let's just say you wanted to um, print out what you did in week one. So then you can do, um, I think you can export right from here. Can you export right from here? No. You can edit and export right here. Select a node. And you just click OK, and it'll convert that to a desktop. And we're going to export it to the doc desktop. And let's go see what we got. So I didn't put any notes in there. So if you had notes in there, it should have. Oh, that didn't export very well, did it? Export to PDF, node only, selected nodes, and subnodes. So I wanted to do subnodes, not just the main node. It just did week one. It didn't do all the stuff inside it. So if I do this again, it should give me another one. Here we go. That's better. That's what I wanted. So you see how it could actually make a fairly good documentation as long as you have your um, notes organized and well thought out. And that's one of the main goals here I wanted you to do is just make sure that you kind of make yourself more efficient. You will learn um, different ways of using it and different ways of adding um, your information in there in a better way. Uh, let's go to taking a snippet or taking a screenshot. You know there's a typical screenshot which is you do print screen or alt print screen and you can do a window or your whole desktop. That might be a little bit too large sometimes, so what we use, or what some people use, is an open source software. Ours is called GreenShot for Windows. Um, so you download it, install it in Windows, and you can take snippets of it, things. So you just click download, and then you run it. After you install it, you'll get a little icon right here. You can actually click on this icon and do anything here, or you can use the Alt Print Screen, Control Print Screen, capture full screen or shift print screen you can set up a region um, what I like to do is just do the um, print screen and it brings up a little curse hairs cursors that we can select an area and then we select the area like this and then we can open it in an image editor which is right in part of green shot so now we can do some things um, let's go put a border around it so we're going to wrap a border around this to highlight certain areas let's say we want to um, highlight a specific text in there so we can actually put a red border around that it's free uh, we can ob obfuscate obfuscate and let's say the green shot, we couldn't show their name, so then we want to do an obfus obfuscate, which is pixelate um, that, so you can't tell what it is. Um, this is a way of doing deductions, or um, you can do um, cover up information that is uh, personal to the, the company or a person, like uh, credit card information, um, serial numbers. Um, birth dates, social security numbers, anything that you have that you want to post into a video or a documentation, then you want to obfuscate that so nobody can read it. And then you copy it to your clipboard again. You do file, copy to the clipboard, and then you go back to your cherry tree, and let's say we're going to put it in Chicago, and we're going to paste it right in here. And details on device so on and so forth let's say you had a graphical tool and you need to run a graphical tool or let's even go with let's look at a virtual machine so we have a Cali machine here and we want to take a, a screenshot inside it so we have to have it running first 
There's a way to drag and drop, um, take a screenshot within um, your virtual machine and drag it out, or vice versa. <coughs> there's, there's settings inside here that allow you to do that. So if you click on the settings tab, excuse me, go to advanced, and there's shared clipboard. So you can share a clipboard between the virtual machine and your host machine in VMware. Or you can do a drag and drop too. So you can drag from within and to without of your virtual machine. It allows you to do that, which is really cool. But you don't always want that for security reasons. But in our case, when you're doing demonstrations and you want to keep really good notes on doing these things, these tools you're using, um, I just used IPA as an example. And so you just run IPA, it pops up. Ooh, let's do. We're here, uh, print screen. We're going to um, just get this information. And we're going to open an image editor. Let's say we're going to put a border around it. Let's say we want to obfuscate the IP addresses. We don't want anybody to see them or the subnet that we're on. If it was a public IP, you could do that. Internals, you really don't need to worry about that too much. Um, sometimes you can, but for the most part, you don't. Uh, let's say we're going to uh, isolate or highlight the command that we ran, and that's the command that we ran. And now we're going to copy that to the clipboard again. And then we're going to go to Cherry Tree. Where is Cherry Tree? And we're going to... paste it and so now we have a graphical representation of what we just ran in there you can do the highlighting of the um, let's say you wanted to highlight some stuff you can actually put all the text in there too if you wanted to and since I have that selected I should be able to paste it right in here because I have to copy and paste the shared clipboard between my VM and my Windows machine, my host machine. So now I can use it as text. So if I went and I did the export of this one, I can do File, Export, and Export to PDF. And let's say Select a Node and Subnodes. And we'll just do Example again. And that should be on our clipboard, I mean on our desktop, excuse me, I'm just using that. I don't usually save things to the desktop. I don't like getting it so cluttered up. And it prints out like that, which is pretty easy to do. You saw the way I did it. So wrapping up, that is a good way to um, take notes either in courses or when you're running tools, even further when you get out. Later on, in the, um, we'll talk about running it in Linux and um, doing it in a live machine and configuring it to set that up. But for now, I'll see you later.